Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Muhammad Ali, and as you know that in the previous tutorial we have uh, get the username and profile status from a user, and we store it inside the Firebase database. Now let's say if a user want to edit his uh, username and profile status, then he can do so from here. Okay, from the main activity, he can simply click on the settings option, and he can uh, update his profile name and status. Now we have to uh, before moving to that here uh, we have to retrieve just displaying the hint here on our settings activity we will display uh, we will first retrieve the username and user profile st status or you can say the old username and the old uh, profile status or you can say user status here on this settings activity so that a user can at least know what his previous or old username and profile status so yeah let's do that so go to the android studio and here on our uh, settings activity go to the settings activity now here uh, after this uh, updates uh, account settings dot set on click listener here we are going to create a method we will call that method so by uh, that method will be by the name retrieve user information so by the name user info okay so now we can create that method here and this is our method so let's cut this from here and at the bottom here we can simply implement that method so now by using the root reference dot child which is our parent node user and then we are searching for the user who is online that is the current user id so here we can say current user id dot add value event listener so we are now retrieving uh, the old uh, username or you can say the old profile status of a user so then he will be able to update it make sure to put a semicolon here so now here we can add uh, the first condition if data snapshot dot exist so it means if the user has created an account and uh, if his user id is exist in the uh, database under the under the node users okay this data snapshot dot exist means okay the meaning of this is that if the users uh, is create if the user has created his profile or not okay and now let's control x First, put these two braces because we will add another uh, condition here. And okay, put these two uh, m percent sign, which is the end. Okay, and then put two braces, and then we are going to check for the name. That is, let's say if a user is a new user, so we can say has child, and it should be name. So we are checking for the name, and after that. Uh, we uh, put two ampersand sign or you can say these two and sign and then we are going put two braces again and now we are going to check for the uh, profile image okay which we will uh, do in the next video tutorial as i told you in the upcoming video tutorials so here we can say sorry it will be has child okay has child and now that will be by the name image so if all these three exist then we will display all these three things which is the name and the profile image okay and also the status is default okay so it will be uh, displaying we will display that so if these three conditions are satisfied or you can say if these uh, if the first condition is true then we will display the profile picture name and uh, the status but what if in I mean the setting uh, the second if statement will be up to the name that is let's say uh, a user create a new account and he set his profile name and the status but not the profile picture okay so now the second status uh, status will be for that so copy this uh, data snapshot up to this name and pass that two condition here okay and now the last will be that is if none of sorry if none of these exist then what we will do make sure to add one brace here okay 
that's great okay we have forgot to add a brace so now if both of these uh, I mean if the, both of these statements are not satisfied or you can say if it is false then it means that the user has now uh, created a new account recently and he has to update his profile information or you can say set his profile information so for that we will display a toast message to the user on the settings activity and that will be uh, that is please set and uh, update your profile information yeah that's it so now here uh, in the first statement as I told you we will uh, retrieve the name uh, status and the profile so we can call this as retrieve username equals data snapshot dot child use sorry name dot get value dot to string make sure to put a semicolon and let's copy paste this for retrieving the status so paste that here and we can say retrieve a status and then it will be s t a t u s status and then we will retrieve the uh, profile picture so we can say string and instead of calling it we can say profile image and it will be by the name image and now we can display it so the field name is uh, let's come here above it is by the name username and user status and user profile image so here we can say username dot set text to retrieve username and then user status dot set text retrieve status and also we will set the profile image but since as you know that uh, we have not updated the profile picture in the firebase database as I told you we will be doing it in the uh, upcoming tutorials so then by using the Picasso library we will display the profile picture to the user okay so for now we will just go with that and now copy paste this and in the second statement we will uh, retrieve just the username and status and then we will display the username and status because in this case the profile image is optional as I told you many times so that's why we will display both of these now uh, the third one is that is the user has created or you can say just authenticated a uh, new account and he has to provide his uh, name profile picture and status so we just tell the user to please set and update your profile information so yeah that's it and now if you run the app so our app is running now successfully and let's go to the settings activity and let's see what is going on there and you can see that Mohammed Ali it retrieved my uh, profile name and then uh, my profile status which is I am a software developer and I love to code whatever it is in your case okay so it retrieved the data if I show you the database then this is the account which I created in the previous video tutorial now you can uh, change this and update this but before we do that we, one thing which we will be doing is that is whenever a user create a new account for the first time we want to display all these three fields which is the profile picture name and status and he can uh, update these things okay but once the user has create and update his profile status and profile name and profile picture then if you want to change it uh, I mean for the uh, another time let's say I mean from the main activity or let's say after the complete uh, successful re registration then we will just allow the user an access to the profile picture and the profile status so for that you will understand it more clearly when we will do it okay so for that go to the end of studio and first of all here uh, on our settings activity uh, after this uh, initialize fields method after that we can say uh, username dot set visibility so this is totally up to you I mean if you want then you can do it or if you do not want this functionality 
then you can ignore this but I think this will be good if we add this okay I mean this looks more professional but it is totally up to you guys so username.set visibility we are just uh, disable or you can say uh, invisible the username field and now here uh, inside our retrieve user info here we have this if statement okay so just on the in the start for the new account we have to make this username visible so we can say username dot set visibility to visible okay view dot visible and now let's run the app to test this and to check that what does it mean basically so our app is running now successfully welcome okay if I go to the settings first then here you can see we have just a profile picture and the profile status now let uh, first let first uh, update this profile status and then I will tell you further so I will change this I am a computer programmer okay and now let's update this so it says I mean it send us to the main activity which is welcome and if I go back to the uh, settings activity then you can see the profile status is updated successfully now let's log out from this app and let's create a new account so that we can see how it will work for the new user so let me go to the need new account I mean to the register activity and now let's create another account by the name and now let's click on create account And you can see account created successfully and it send us to the settings activity and now here it display all these three fields for the first time I mean just like you guys see in whatsapp okay so the profile picture username and the status now let's uh, give it a name profile name which is your robots and then the profile status so let's say computer science test and now let's click on update and you can see it says welcome and we have a uh, profile updated successfully okay and now let's go to the uh, settings so here you can see that it's computer scientist and now if you want you can update this from here computer scientist and computer programmer and now let's click update and the profile is updated successfully if I show you the database then here we go you can see this okay so in this way we have completed our settings activity now in the next video tutorial we will finally start work on the group chat so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video don't forget to press the bell icon and please like this video so that I can at least feel happy yeah please so yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now